He was a wide-eyed, happy baby no matter what he was going through. He was a joy. It was in June of 2011, Rick and Jean Keezer received a call about a baby boy in need of a loving home. The parents of six adopted children were anxious to welcome the newborn into their family. He is biologically related to my youngest kids and so we do our best to keep the kids together. The couple immediately started the adoption process, but quickly learned this baby boy would need much more than love. He was born with what's called hypoplastic left heart syndrome, HLHS, and so he did not have his left ventricle. A condition that would require at least three surgeries, but his heart would give out after the second. He died in December at just six months old. It's, it's heart-wrenching. Um, we knew um, we knew for about a week that he was going to die before we stopped the efforts. This is Tiny um, shortly after his first surgery. Their grief turned into motivation to honor the baby they now refer to as Tiny. Because Tiny wasn't yet adopted, we weren't able to give him like a real name and Tiny was just this little ball of joy and I think it was one of the nurses that came in and said, oh, he looks so tiny today. And that kind of stuck. In 2012, they started the nonprofit Tiny Smiles and through races and blood drives are raising money for families of children with heart defects. So we have worked with families at Sutter, Stanford. Um, UC Davis is where we were and where he spent the bulk of his life. And so that hospital, their staff is near and dear to our hearts. This is the fifth year for the Tiny Smiles Half Marathon, and these are the shirts that the hundreds of local runners will be wearing. But the Keezers hope the race will grow to attract thousands from across the country. Heart defects don't necessarily have to be. And I think as we invest more and more money into research, we're going to find out ways to, um, to stop these from happening. And they hope sharing Tiny's story will make a world of difference. In Galt, Tony Valliere, KCRA 3 News.